Hey, what's up? So today I wanted to talk a little bit about marketing, maybe lead generation. Let's see if we can fill your pipeline in a way that's a little bit more organic and fun. So I am tired of being in my office. So I've kind of made it like like I'm an office I'm an office rat. Okay, I like having an office. I like coming to work. I like seeing my team. But lately, the pandemic really just mess things up. I think the pandemic normalized some things that aren't good for business. And it normal like I've had more Zoom meetings this year than I've ever had in my life. Now, Zoom has been a great tool, you know, for a number of reasons. It's helped me connect with other agents across the country when I'm coaching them. It's helped me with coaching calls and things like that. I do not Zoom for for my insurance business. Okay. Now I don't write a lot of business out of state either. I'm pretty hyper local. I'm licensed in five states, but I 99% of my business is written here, and 98% of that is written, you know, within whatever, probably a 50 mile radius, you know, of of my office. So what I want to do is I want to get out in my community more. I'm tired. I'm, I feel like I've been tied to my desk for a while. I've been, I love my office, but I need to get out of it. I'm feeling a little stir crazy. So last week I set an appointment with just someone that I haven't seen in a long time. I don't even have his business, but he's a, he's a local business owner. I really enjoy his company. I've had him on my podcast before. We're in different circles on like, you know, Facebook and LinkedIn and stuff like that. I was like, and every time I see a post of his, I'm like, man, I miss Sean, you know? So I sent an instant message to Sean. Is that what it's called? Instant, remember instant messages? <laughs> no, I sent uh, Sean a mess, Facebook messenger or whatever. And I was like, hey, man, I miss you. I haven't seen him in like a year. I'm like, let's go get some coffee. So we did. We went out and I spent like an hour just talking with him. Just the energy you get from being in people's presence is very different than sharing time over a screen or texting back and forth or emailing back and forth or even on the phone. I think the phone is better than email. You can hear people's inflections in their voices and you can hear a smile through the phone and stuff like that. And I just, the phone's fine, but like if you want your maximum human connection, you go and see someone. You hang out with them. You share air with them, okay? And so that's what I'm going to do over the next few months. I'm going to get out of my office. I'm going to set appointments. I'm going to go see clients out in the field, see prospects in the field, see people that I like, reconnect with people, whether they're my clients or not. Like, we need that human connection. And I guarantee you that it will lead to business if you are strategic about it. You can get business by doing this. So I thought of doing scheduling, you know, getting just a few appointments a day. I'll get out of the office. I love the small business community here in my office. So it, it, or in my town. And so it'd be easy for me to reach out to, you know, 15 or 20 people that I know and say, Hey, I want to get out of the office. I want to come to your space. Let's reconnect. You go there, you spend 15, 20 minutes there. Maybe they have a restaurant. Maybe you have lunch there. You know, maybe you bring somebody to lunch at a place that you ensure now you're seeing three people and there's like, get out of your office is what I'm saying. That's what I'm going to do. Cause, cause I'm feeling a little stir crazy. So I thought another, th- like if you wanted to get a lot of business, like you should reconnect with all your mortgage brokers. Okay. I think sometimes we take, or if you're in, if you're visiting commercial lenders or whoever you have curated relationships with, it's time to go back out and see them again. Don't take these people for advantage, okay? Get out, put it on your schedule, bookmark an entire day for 90 days. So for August, September, October, every Wednesday, I'm going to be out in the field, okay? And, you know, from 10 to 4 or 10 to 3 or whatever, out of the office, and I'm going to go see my people, okay, and make it a regular part of your schedule. You know, schedule these things in advance. These people are busy. Sometimes I'm a little, I'm a little ADD. So sometimes I'm thinking last minute, I'm like, Hey man, are you in the office right now? And I'll drop in. But the smart thing to do would be to say, Hey, next week, I'm going to be out and about. Are you going to be in? Can I schedule the time to come in? You know, and then you can kind of couple that with creating some light content with these people. You know, if you're going to go see someone at a restaurant and you know the business owner and you insure them, 
you know, snap a picture with them in the space, get the sign and then say, Hey, stop by. Saw my buddy Jason today. He owns this restaurant. This is what I had. They have such a great team and a great staff there. Their food is amazing. You can tag him. You can tag the restaurant. I mean, you could spend a whole day going and visiting your places that you insure and doing something like that. And you can kind of hoard that content and put out like 10 or 15 posts, you know, one a day for two weeks. You'll get a lot of traction from that. People will notice you are out there with small business owners supporting small business owners and you're going to get so much goodwill because they're going to be like, Hey, look at, look at Dietz out in the field, getting it done, meeting people, you know, promoting other businesses. And when you're tagging other businesses too, your audience is going to see you out there supporting small businesses. You're going to be endorsing these small businesses too. This is kind of a sweet spot between like a formal Google review and nothing, I guess, but you can uh, go out there they're going to see your face with other people um, and you're going to be seen as a leader in your community. And that's really what my goal was a long time ago. I just don't want to be a good insurance guy, right? I want to be, well, I want to be a good businessman, you know, and getting out and doing stuff like that is, is how you kind of, is how you set that table. So there are a few ideas for you to get out. I'm just encouraging you to get, get out of your office, get out of your funk. All right. Are you tired of cold calling? Are you tired of working leads that are a real drag? We do not get a lot of traction in my office right now. We just don't. And that's the other thing the pandemic did. Not a lot of people are coming in. So I want to give you license. I want to give you permission to get out of your office because no one's, not many people are coming to my office. I do have some other agents that I talked to are like, we get a lot of foot traffic, traffic, but if you're staffed for that, get out. They'll understand you're not there. You're out working, okay? This is the kind of work that I thrive doing. This is the kind of work that I love doing. I know not everybody's like this, but, you know, sitting in your office and emailing and texting and and posting and scrolling and all that stuff will only get you so far. This is where the real relationships are built. This is how you build referral networks. And when you're out and about, and if you want to write more business, like I said, you can be strategic and you can sit down and be like, Hey man, and I have your general liability. Who has your work comp? Hey, do you need any help with life insurance? Do you know anybody on your team, you know, that needs help with insurance? Like you can ask some light questions and try and get some business that way too. Okay. If you're newer in the industry and you're hungry for for policies like these, you have to do that. You have to ask for business. Okay. I've been doing this a long time. I don't necessarily have to go out today and be like, I got to write 33 policies this between now and the end of the month. I have the luxury of, of, of building a book that's, that's paying me renewals. So I don't, I don't have to go out, but I want to go out and maintain those relationships. I want more referrals. You know, early in my career, I would have been really intensely focused on making sure that all of these visits I was getting some sort of leads from or getting somebody to quote. Full disclosure, I, I'm not going to work it that hard, but I know business is going to come. Early in my career, every stop I made, I would have asked and tried to get some sort of business from the person at the front desk, you know, the waitress that, that is waiting on you, anybody else that the owner introduces you to things like that. So those are just some ideas. I'd encourage you to get out of your space. Summer's coming to a close, go drum up some business, go deep in some relationships and have some fun. Like this is a good way to spend time. Okay. And it's very, very inexpensive. It only costs you time and good things will come from it. So there you go. That's my advice for you today. Get out. All right. Thanks for listening. My name is Matt. This is Agency Launch. You can find me all over the place. I'm on LinkedIn. I am on Twitter and Instagram at Deets Agency. Also, don't forget to check out Agency Launch at agencylaunch.net. It's my master program. If you want to book a call with me, I would encourage you to. I just had a great call with an agency owner today, and it was wonderful. So send me a text to 208 213 8809 and write chat with Matt in the text. Hit send, and you'll get my booking calendar. Let's get on a call. All right. Thank you so much for listening. Keep up the good work.